doing a photo shoot with Chris Wilson hiding over there behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> So I love Star Trek, so today's theme we're starting out doing Star Trek style. And here we have Selena who's doing hair and makeup and we're really excited. あ、後ろで、うん。2つのあ、ソフトボックス、リムライトのソフトボックス、あ、使います。うん。オッケー。そう、あ、今日のテーマはちょっとスター だからちょっと映画の、映画みたいなライティング、作りたい。頑張ります。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょ
and we were thinking kind of the movies which Briley really loves or the movies and TV shows so you'll see some inspiration from the likes of ER, Harry Potter, Star Trek and I think Red Sparrow um, so yeah uh, let's check out the images and edit them in Lumina so for our first shot we're starting with this uh, super simple clean image um, I'll zoom into 100% to check focus and that looks great uh, you can see all the detail and in the eye you can even see that clear catch light of a 3x4 pro photo softbox uh, which we're using as the uh, main light and then there's another light aimed at the background uh, to give you that sort of clean white background Uh, I don't really want to make too many drastic changes to this image, but I think I'm going to go over and uh, just adjust the white balance. I'm going to take the dropper tool and select the background which I know should be white and make that white. And that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, a lovely, simple, clean shot. Let's look at another image. So uh, here we have a ER style image. Let's just change the aspect so it looks a bit more cinematic. And crop in. Uh, that is a silver reflector in the background and an old lab coat she's wearing. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the LUT mapping and I'm going to choose a LUT. And I think I'm going to go uh, Manhattan that's a bit a bit warm uh, maybe not for this image let's try something else oh that's interesting okay that is 1990 and let's just sort of reduce the opacity or sort of tone it down that looks pretty cool Let's see before and after, as before and after. Oh yeah, okay, that's good. Um, and then we're going to maybe just give it a slight vignette. There you go. You can see occasionally uh, the uh, the computer's processing with the files. It's just one of the realities of shooting with a 53 megapixel camera. Okay, that looks fantastic. Let's move on to the next image. And the sorting hat says Briley is in... Gryffindor! Okay, so... First of all, let's zoom in to check the focus. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks great. Um, so, the next thing I'm going to do, let's go back to fit the screen, uh, I'm going to go down to LUT mapping and choose a LUT. This time I'm going to go with candlelight. Ooh, and then reduce it quite a bit. But that looks like nice tones. Uh, next, I think I'll adjust the, the highlights on the image a little bit. Yeah, and then kind of warm it up. Uh, maybe sitting around the fire at Hogwarts. That looks cool. Um, oh, I can just see something in the very bottom left corner. Um, that tiny little spot of yellow. I'll just get rid of that with a crop. And yeah, that looks nice. 
Let's see, before and after. Now let's boldly go onto another image. And yes, I understand that is a red shirt, so <laughs> Briley may not make it through this landing party mission. So I've zoomed in to check the focus. That looks good. And then let's go to the professional workspace. And the first thing I'm going to do is go down to LUT mapping and choose go with Manhattan this time. Reduce the strength of that a little bit. Okay. That looks like a good starting point. Now next I'm going to go into the add filters and I'm going to look for this dramatic filter and click on that one and then adjust the strength of that slider and that's kind of in increasing contrast and clarity and sort of desaturating the image and just making it look awesome so here's before and after you can see what a big difference that does to the image Um, and I'm just gonna just reduce the color temperature to make it a little bit more, a little bit more blue. Now that looks pretty good, and I could just stop there, and um, maybe I should. But although her uniform and her phaser is original television series, I'm quite a fan of the. JJ Abrahams recent movies so let's add or let's create some lens flare so for this I'm actually going to uh, go to the sun rays and try and use the sun rays to create what looks a bit more like lens flare so I've added the f uh, the sun ray filter and then I've turned down the warmth of it to zero and now I'm just going to adjust the length of these sun rays, which are now I'm pretending to be flares, to give a cool image. And I can just play around and adjust them to how, how I would like. That kind of looks cool, as if there's sort of a bright spotlight behind her. And yeah, and again, I could stop there. But if one sun ray is good, why not have another one? Okay, let's stick that in. Then I'm going to use the X axis and drag that off the screen. And then let's use the Y axis to drag it down. And then, yeah, that will work. It's kind of imagining like there's another light just out of shot or just on the edge of the frame, and that's causing more flare in the image. And again, I can adjust the length of the flares. And yeah, I'm going to completely reduce the warmth so it's less sunlight and more like, I don't know, bright LED type light in the background. So this was before and this is after editing. Okay, um, well I had great fun editing the images and showing you some of my uh, favorite studio shots with Briley. Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much to Jessica Ochoa and Selena Palomo uh, for doing uh, makeup for these studio images. And of course to Briley Williamson uh, for being our model. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel or share with your friends. Uh, the next video will be uh, 
the location shoot with Briley on the beach, so please come back and check that out. Um, thanks very much and for watching and letting me share my passion for photography. See you again! I think I just might make this through So now let's do what we came to Oh, what's the point? Oh, what's the use? Living in someone else's shoes Can't fall ahead, can't stay behind I think I'm now losing my mind Oh, what's the point? Oh, what's the use? Living in someone else's shoes Can't fall ahead, can't stay behind I think I'm now losing my mind Ready? How was it? Cool, Segway. <laughs>